Hello everybody, my name is Alex and today we are talking about three civilizations from the Americas, like literally anywhere in the Americas, that you guys want to see in Civilization 6. So just as with the previous two episodes, the way I've done this is sort of go through your comments on previous videos, pick out three of my favourites. That's not to say that if your comment's not in here, I didn't like your suggestion, I'm sure it was amazing, because most of them were, I just can only feature three, so I had to pick my three favourites. I've then gone away, researched the sims a bit, and brought you this video, which hopefully will be entertaining and also kind of informative. So whatever you do think of today's suggestions, make sure you try and fill in any gaps we have with leaders and stuff, and also let me know what you think. Do you want to see these suggestions in Civ 6? Now the first thing I'm going to talk about today is the modern state of Mexico. Now I get all this that the Aztecs were in the game so it's difficult for Mexico to be in the game but that doesn't stop me wanting to see them in the game, like I, I do want to see them. So since Mexico gained independence from Spain in 1821, it's had quite the tricky history I think is a fair summary, there's been multiple divisive dictators, huge territorial losses to the US in the 1830s and a number of civil wars but there are obviously positive directions that the Civ could be taken in. There's a couple of directions I would really like to see this Civ go in. For much of its history, Mexico is seemingly considered regionally quite a cultural civilization, so I'd definitely like to see the Civ go that way and go for a cultural victory. I think in the 19th century especially, it was considered quite the culture hub for the region. And the second thing is that today, Mexico is quickly developing and growing with a significantly improved literacy rate over the last few years and the 10th highest population in the world. Like, I looked at Mexico's civilization and was quite surprised by just how big it is. What do you think to the possibility of a Mexican civ though? How do you think it should look? Let me know down in the comments below. By the way, if you enjoy Civilization 6 and go on to enjoy this video today, please do remember to hit that like button because that will help us out immensely, it really does. And also do consider subscribing, I will be covering the new DLC in the future, I will keep making videos like this, so if you want to see more Civ content from myself, do remember to hit that subscribe button. The next civilization from the Americas I've put on this list is the Iroquois. Now I am all for getting more Native American peoples in Civ 6 and the Iroquois are a very obvious choice. So the Iroquois, who were actually in Civ 5 if you remember back, historically were a powerful Native American confederacy in North America and comprised of an alliance of five tribes. I would recommend following the links below if you want to find out more because they are quite fascinating. Because the whole confederacy was built on working together, for me the obvious direction to take this Civ would be towards a diplomatic victory and maybe as Luke suggested, give them additional diplomatic favour and combat strength for alliances. Looking back at Civ 5 once again, I would also say that surely the Longhouse and Mohawk warrior need to return too, right? Like the Longhouse in Civ 5 gave bonus production and happiness I believe, so surely bonus production and amenities would be a fantastic thing to have in a unique building in Civ 6. Also those two things are a fantastic and important point of Iroquois culture. Another cool idea that I had for this save was that they should receive large additional bonuses to internal trade routes. Because the Iroquois people were all about working together, the confederacy of five states was all about working together, so surely that trading between each other, tra trading between cities or historically members of the confederacy should offer bigger and better trade deals like gold, like growth, like production, so I would really like to see that implemented. Okay, so the final suggestion in this video, and one which I am really excited about, is the Kingdom of Hawaii. Now, I really did not know before I made this video that Hawaii had a kingdom which achieved the great things it did, so a big thank you to Robert for suggesting this, because this was particularly fascinating to research. Hawaii's actually got a pretty decent list of achievements though. The first one I would mention is that under the great Kamehameha, the Hawaiian Islands were united and became a powerful trading hub during the late 18th and early 19th centuries. Honestly, if you didn't research it, you probably won't believe how big of a trading hub it became. Other things that Robert mentioned as well is that for a period the islands had the highest literacy rate in the world, which is quite the achievement. And for him, he thought that this could turn into additional great people points for districts built on charming or breathtaking tiles, bringing in obviously the literacy rates thing, and also that Hawaii is a stunning place. If you look at pictures, it is absolutely stunning, and I'm sure a lot of people would like to visit it at some point. 
I had some thoughts about bonuses as well, so the one I came up with was Support of the Gods. Now, Kamehameha, from before his birth, was very much linked with gods. So his birth was prophesized, and obviously his rise to power was prophesized, and during key moments, Acts of Fortune helped him greatly. For example, when his cousin and longest enemy rebelled against his rule, and this was a real key moment for Kamehameha, a volcano erupted and destroyed his cousin's force. They destroyed the rebels' force. So maybe in Civ 6, if you're going against Kamehameha, maybe he could control a natural disaster or two which targets your Civ. Now it's pretty obvious that I think Kamehameha should be the leader of Hawaii. But I've also had some thoughts on a unique unit too, because under his reign, he brought gunpowder to Hawaiian canoes. So what I thought they could do, and what would be a pretty cool addition, is the Hawaiian war canoe, which is pretty much the same as its contemporaries, but I think could be built at a discounted price. So that is Hawaii, a civilization I really like the ideas of. So maybe do some research if you like it. Let me know what you think the Civ should include down in the comments. So those are three civilizations from the Americas that you suggested come to Civ 6, and they were just my top three. But what do you think? Do you think that these civs will be good in Civ 6? And what bonuses can you think of? Do let me know all of that good stuff down in the comments. Now, if you have enjoyed today and want to see more, be sure to hit the like button because it does massively help us out. And also consider subscribing to the channel. I'll also leave some links for the previous episodes if you've not seen them yet. Thank you so much for watching today. My name is Alex and I will see you in another video soon.